everyone, my name is Nikolaus and I'm a medical student at the University of Split School of Medicine and I would like to show you a super cool trick I learned a few weeks ago about how to mimic any different type of heart sound by just using your hand and a stethoscope. So a few weeks ago I came across a super interesting article which was actually written 100 years ago and it's from a famous American cardiologist by the name Charles Larnet. And he tried to teach medical students on how to mimic any different type of heart sound by just using your hand in the stethoscope. Why? Because back in the day, nobody had internet. They didn't always have a sick patient to show to the students. So they had to get really, really creative. And what they did was they literally only took their stethoscope and placed it into their hands. And then by making different movements with their right hand or with their left hand, they would create any different type of heart sound, which I will show you now. Now for step one, you just have to take the stethoscope. So you take the diaphragm, which is this part of the stethoscope, and you put it onto your palm. And now you just press it normally, not too hard, not too soft, that the diaphragm is actually attached to it. Now you hold it like this and in the rest of the video I will show you now all the different types of movements you have to do to mimic these heart sounds. And here I want to mention that these are heart sounds which are not generated by a computer or by a machine and they're also not from the real world but they're generated with my microphone which I placed into my hand and then I literally did the same which you will do with your stethoscope right now. Let's first start with a normal heart sound. In a normal heart sound you have the S1 and the S2. That means that everything is going perfect in your body because the valves are closing properly. And for this one, you just do step one again. So you place it into your hand and then you start tapping with the other hand on the back side of the first hand. And if you don't believe me that this is S1 and S2, you put them now into your ears and after that you put them on your chest and you will literally hear exactly the same. Now we are going to simulate S3. S3 is an extra heart sound, which is normally in young individuals or also in pregnant women, but it can also be something pathological in, for example, an elderly lady. For this one, we do step one again, like normal, but now we, instead of just doing S1 and S2, we put now our second finger twice. So tap, 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 tap. And what you will now generate is S3. Now I will show you the fourth heart sound. The fourth heart sound is always something pathological. And for this heart sound, we literally just take the stethoscope again. And in this case, we make now tap, tap, tap. So the first um, tap is twice and then the second one is normal again. Okay. Now we come to murmurs and murmurs are also something pathological. For this one we take the stethoscope again and then we stroke at the back of our hand and tap once. And this one is especially hard to generate, but once you get the idea of how to do it, and this is all about practice again. So if you do it once, twice, okay, it will not be so great, but if you do it like a 10, 20 times, you can really show this to your friends. And I think, and I'm 100% sure that they've never seen anything like this. At least my friends have not. <laughs> Now we come to the last part of this video where I want to show you the aortic stenosis and here you just have to generate this crescendo, decrescendo sound. You put again the diaphragm onto your hand and then you make this circle movement at the back of your hand. Now 
Now, if you check out the article, I can even show you a few more hard sounds, which I didn't even include in this video. But I'm sure if you show this to your friends, I mean, they will be really amazed. Just take a stethoscope and show them what I've shown you. And I don't know anyone who, know, who knew this trick. So I think they will be quite amazed. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and then see you in the next video. Ciao.